I just got to number one in the entire world in the new Triple Elix in Tournament 37 and 2 with this Minor Control deck. I actually used for the first of all wins, for like first 25 wins, or like 25 and 0. I used the Royal Hawks deck from yesterday's episode and in the top. When I played against the best players in the world, I tried to switch something up and I used 3.1 Minor Psych to be the best players in the world in the Triple Elixir Tournament. If you guys enjoy my content, make sure to subscribe. Also, make sure to give a fat thumbs up about the video. And if you guys want to support me even more, make sure sure to use creator code more in the shop and i would say let's dive jump to the game so i'm gonna show you how i got number one in the entire world so guys i was 32 and 2 32 and 2 so i just had like two losses i was like number 24 in the world and for sure right now we need five more wins that you kind of can see what i was finishing off today's um video so we're playing against mini here and the reason I was playing this deck is pretty simple. A ton of people were playing Mana Control on the top, and I was like, okay, how do I beat Mana Control and be overall solid? I felt like with bats being so, so underrated, the only real disadvantage with bats is like Mana Witch decks, but I didn't see like a ton of people are playing Mana Witch. And the thing is like with the, um, of the bats, a ton of people are playing ice spirit and so on, so the ice, uh, the minor bats combination gets so so much value. So also the deck which I showed you yesterday, where like so many people are playing it, and we are doing a really really great job here, going in with the bomb tower, cleaning up all of the stuff, and we are doing a really really solid job here. I'm just gonna go for minor. I'm just gonna drop my poison spell here. Minor poison absolutely destroying our opponent here so far. And I guess I'm just gonna go for my monkey. And as long as you keep sure or like make sure that your bomb toss and cycle, you can't, they're not able to break through, right? You always wanna go for the phoenix behind the monk. This is your, like your normal, really, really great push. And we're just gonna go for the poison spell here, the minor poison. Even if you like your global tournament run is over already and you can feel like, okay, I can't really play it. I still think it's really, really great gameplay since in triple leaks the time. As I said, you normally think like really cheap, uh, really expensive decks are the best, but I feel like cycle decks are most likely best. So I'm just gonna go for phoenix here because I was like kind of worried um, about him going for the pre-poison but he doesn't so i'm just gonna go for a lock here and i'm just be aggressive cycling another poison is our key here and i guess i'm just gonna go for the bomb tower here bomb tower is putting in a really solid work and i guess next play is going to be uh, just another phoenix so it's kind of hard to communicate uh, co uh, to commentate this type of gameplay but just about going in be aggressive and you guys will see a ton of mirror matchups later on because a ton of people are playing this deck so yeah, kind of having a mirror matchups over again and again is really great. Absolutely amazing lock. We still got some damage, but look at the counter which we got here. We can just go straight up minor poison here, the tower, going for the poison this spot. He kind of catch with the goblins, but still look at the damage or like the value we are getting here. I'm just going to use the build here. I'm just going to go for another minor here. And I'm just going to go in for, I guess, for another poison spell. I don't really think I need a poison spell, so I'm just going to go for the poison on the left side. And as you guys can see, it's already over, right? The miner actually chips down the firecracker, and we are absolutely in control. And it's just crazy. Like, the miner always connects minor poison. You can be way more aggressive, right? We all know how good minor poison is in a triple elixir, like in a normal game, right? If you, like, play, you play defensive in a triple elixir, you just go for minor poison spam, and you can, like, with the sheep cycle, with the free card cycle, uh, with the monk in your deck, you can get, like, poisons and minus down every few seconds and this is what makes the deck so good and this is kind of what you're seeing here we're doing an absolute crazy job now i'm just gonna go for a low bomb tower here to kind of catch up or like kill the roylox here the, the cracker is going there i can just go for the bats and we're taking the first win at this point we're currently 33 and 2 and this game against i'm bro is an absolutely amazing game he also played a minor control variation with one difference so he had the ice bird instead of the bats you kind of kind of talk about the advantage and the disadvantage for sure bats are so so solid ice bird is not too consistent so minor bats came really good but at the same time the thing is with the ice bird. The ice bird can like kind of catch this miner and you can go in for a monk late. So ice bird way better than defense, bats way better than offense. So I'm just gonna go for bats. He goes in for a really great miner, going for minor poison early on. And I can tell you already, this game will be really will be so so close. I'm just gonna go for a poison spell here. Really great poison spell. I'm just gonna go for the bats here. And I guess he just goes in minor poison. This minor poison actually got so so much damage. So I was kind of predicting his miner, but it didn't really work. Oh, I'm just gonna go for another miner here. And he this time he didn't get it, but he still goes in for another miner here. I'm just gonna go for the goblins here. And so far we didn't catch any miner. So this time I can go a bit more aggressive with my bats. I'm just gonna go for another poison spell here. Still get some damage. And I guess I'm yeah, just gonna go for Phoenix here. And if he goes in for poison, it's still fine. So main minor defense, most of the time just Phoenix, also sometimes goblins, but right on the end of in front and going for the lock prediction goblins is actually a really smart play. So I'm just gonna go for my bats here. That was really, really smart of him, like protecting his egg. So 
Kind of in a bad spot. I'm just gonna go for a monk here. At least the monk prediction worked out really, really great. And I guess I need to go poison on defense this time, like this. We can still go in for a miner here um, and a lock to get some decent chip damage. That was a really great lock prediction from us. All I mean, like, like yeah, lock prediction with the monk. At the same time, we also we also killed this egg out of the phoenix. So absolutely great. And our miner, on our phoenix is still on the map. And doing a pretty good job. So I'm just gonna go for minor poisoning here. This time the poison was, or like the minor was really misplayed, but he still would have called it. Um, with that, so we just go on both for our locks. So we just go both, go for both for our poisons, and I guess I'm just gonna go on for minor poisoning here once again on the tower. He kind of catches our miner, so that makes it a bit annoying since our miner won't get his tower, and we just misplayed our bets or like failed our bets. So we need to commit one more miner to his tower, which basically means okay. We're kind of like one miner uh, down. So he goes in for a lock here. We do want to go for the goblins. I'm just going to go for poison. He goes in for the poison. So far, he's like up. He's up a tiny bit of damage, which can be huge, which could mean game over, but which also could mean we can still win this one. So I'm just going to go for miner here. I'm just going to go in like for the ability. The lock pushes back. So really, really great since we also had one gone with that. I'm just going to go for another lock. And so far, I feel like, okay, we have the game control now. We are winning this one. But. This guy is absolutely crazy. He's playing so, so well right now. We get the poison this time on the tower. He plays a really great lock, like, kind of pushing back the mine and also making sure to um, kill the egg out of my phoenix. I'm just going to go for ability here. Um, but I thought, like, the, maybe the monk will tank for the ability, but didn't really work out. We're just going for the ability here. I'm just going to go for a poison spell here. Really good poison spell. And we can take for sure the damage lead. But we know Monk in the pocket miner can be really, really dangerous. So I'm just going to go for Phoenix High here since I knew we will go miner on the safe spot most likely. And I am just going to go in for another Goblin. So I'm just going to go for a log. I'm just going to drop Monk at the bridge. And we are looking great. We are looking great. Um, Point space coming down. We go in for bad since I knew his poison was also like a great bad placement when the poison was over. Going for miner in the back here. Going for the Goblins. He got the miner catch. And that was an absolutely amazing miner catch. I'm just going to go for a lock here. And I thought maybe this time we do get a connection here. But we still do not. We still do not. Absolutely crazy. We still get the death damage. Or at least we do get the death damage on tower. So that was clean. Um, I'm just going to go for the monk here. Miner this time doesn't get on tower. We need to go for a lock here. And right now just about cycling. 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 So poison's coming coming down miners coming down and we're trying to get as much damage as we can the miner this time is on the tower i'm just gonna go for the lock here and i for sure want to go in for another poison spell this is what we're doing here the miner is and isn't on a safe spot and this could cost him the game i'm just gonna go for another miner he goes in for a lock i can just go for the goblins i'm just gonna go for the lock here we do need another poison both towers uh, at 92 hp both towers are at 92 hp and the crazy thing was if he would have played the poison at the same time as me. Would have both got the say uh, the tower at the same time, and that would have meant uh, that would have meant for us, both of us, that we had to go for another tower game. I know that would have been crazy. That would have been like an overtime tie, and we had to go for the free console. Absolutely clutch game. One second, one small second made a difference in this game. At this time, I was number two. An entire wall, thirty-six and two. One more. Game for number one in the world against free to play king. And once again, this time we got a full mirror matchup. Bats versus bats, minor poison versus minor poison. An absolutely amazing game. Go back, sit down, relax, take your chips, ch take your coke, take your water, and watch this game. Absolutely amazing gameplay from, from him, from me. It was just like a game how I like to have Clash Royale, right? Going back and forth. Um, and I'm just gonna go for a lock here. And I guess there were like some outplays from him with his miner. So I'm just gonna go for a mine here on the Phoenix. Came a bit late. I think you guys kinda see what I wanted there. So I still need to go for that. I got the miner catch up this time against the monk. Uh, with the monk against the miner, we're looking great so far. So I'm just gonna go for the Phoenix here on uh, behind the, the monk. This is kind of my main push always. And this time, yeah, he kinda caught me off guard, like with the goblins putting on the miner. So he had to go for a lock. He goes on for bats. At least his bats were kinda wasted, so this is great. Uh, my bad spare also kind of wasted, just one bad survived. I need to go for another miner here. I'm just gonna go for a lock prediction this time. Worked also out, really great lock prediction. I need to go bad side also. And I guess I'm just deciding to poison all of this. So we do go for a miner in the back, uh, for the goblins in the back. We catch this miner. He was like expecting me to predict that the goblins go in front, but it did not. And we're playing like this time, we don't go same lane, which is a really, really interesting change. We don't go same lane as him, we go opposite lane. So this is kind of interesting. So this is going to be really aggressive minor poison since I know why I'm aggressive, because I have so much stuff on the left side. You normally never want to go minor poison alone, right? Because the opponent is able to punish you, but I 
could have like done it at this situation because I knew I have so much stuff on the left that he's like really low on elixir so I'm just gonna go minor poison left uh, right bait out a ton of stuff and because he still needs to defend that and he needs to go for bats or goblins on top of the miner so smart play modern royals brain is activated so I'm just gonna go for the lock here, uh, for the goblin, so he goes in for lock, but I'm just gonna go straight up minor poison this, minor poison is coming down, let's go. He didn't catch the miner, and the miner is doing like a ton of damage, so... That was actually a miner, which was pretty annoying since it got so much damage, and I need to go now for my goblins at the bridge. But like, as you guys can see here, I'm still, I'm still relaxed, I still know I can like easily get this tower in this type, and this time, so I'm just gonna go for my poisoning here, this time he catched the miner, but look at the one huge bat! Getting to tower at this time. We got the prediction here. I knew he would go on for lock prediction So we kind of got us got him here, and I'm just gonna go for another minor poison I guess that he even got the no this time he missed it So we're gonna switch up our minor place. I'm just gonna go for Phoenix here. I don't know We're looking great. We have the damage advantage. I'm just gonna go for bats here I'm just gonna go for the minor here. I'm just gonna go also for lock. I just really really want to finish off his tower So I'm just gonna go for a monk here once again catching his mine I'm just gonna go for goblins right to go for goblins because I want to kill the egg and we know Absolutely crazy game so far. So I'm just gonna go for a miner here and then poison because I know we still committed minor poison at my tower So I just want to get the safe damage and now it's gonna be a crazy 1-1 one, one game We got the minor poison mirror and it will be absolutely insane So he goes in for a monk at the bridge just tries to get same damage The thing is like miner on the safe spot the opponent or like the king tower is not targeting the miner This is why it's called safe spot just the one tower is targeting it uh, The advantage is for sure you get way more damage the, the disadvantage is it's so predictable so every time if your opponent's going for a monk, you cannot really fraud it. So minor poisoning is fine as long as the monk is out of cycle. So I'm just gonna go minor poisoning here because his monk was out of cycle. So I'm gonna do it. I'm also gonna pressure with goblins here in the middle, and I'm just gonna go for another minor. I really wanna keep up the pressure here. I'm just gonna go for another poison spell, a really great poison spell, hit the phoenix at least, and now we're taking the damage advantage. Tower goes down to 1.742, 1.714. Uh, 16, 1630 uh, remains here. I'm just gonna go for my Another miner here, Phoenix is on top of that, but still, as you guys can see, he gets still an amount of damage. He waits for the lock, because he knows I'm gonna go for lock predictions. So also, my opponent is playing absolutely insane clash rub. We just go for the goblins here. I'm just gonna go for miner here this time. I'm going for monk here in the middle, trying to tank here, and I know I'm up on licks. I'm going for, for the poison spell here, absolutely great poison. The bats are connecting, let's go bats, we're going for the lock, the mine is coming down. And I'm so happy we got it, number one in the entire world, and I feel like... We're really tryharding, and this should hopefully be the next number one in the world finish for my side. This is at least my goal, so let me know in the comment section what's your goal for the Global Tournament if you already achieved it. We went 37-2 and two in this one. If you guys don't want to miss any videos in the future, make sure to subscribe, make sure you use Creative Gun more in the shop. And I would say I'm out. Thanks for watching, I love you guys.